Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you to Quiz the Nation, the kids edition. I hope you've all had a wonderful week in a drastic change to the weather this week. Last week we were talking about how wet and miserable it was everywhere around the country and now here we are in baking sunshine. So I hope you're not melting in the heat. Maybe you've had an ice cream or an ice lolly, you've got the paddling pool out today or something fun, but we hope that you can spend the next 30 or 40 minutes here with us at Quiz the Nation in a nice cool room with for a nice fun end to your homeschooling day. My name's Ali and I'm your quiz host for today. Now, for those of you joining us for the first time, we have three rounds at Quiz the Nation Kids. We have picture puzzles, then we have emoji maths and arithmetic and sequences and anagrams as our round two. And round three is general knowledge. And welcome back to those of you who played along last week for our first ever broadcast. And welcome to those of you joining us for the first time today. What we want you to do, as per last week, throughout the quiz, is drop us a comment, either if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, put a message into the comments, say hello, let us know where you're playing, who you're playing with, if you're playing in a team with your brother or your sister or having a solo battle against your brother, whatever it might be, let us know how you're getting on and where you're playing. We'll do our best to read out as many comments as we possibly can in between the rounds as we go through the quiz this afternoon. So without any further ado, let's crack on with round number one, picture puzzles. Here we go. So we're gonna give you some examples. Those of you who played along last week, this is a similar format. We've made it slightly harder this week because so many of you did so well last week. We had lots of full marks, so we thought we'd make it a little bit trickier this week. We've added in an extra row uh, of boxes. So take a good look at these squares, okay? This is an example. So you wanna take a good look at the squares, Red, yellow, blue, red, blue, red, yellow, 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 red, green, green. We want to watch and take a good note of where all those squares are because our example questions and for the rest of the questions through the round, some of these squares are going to disappear and we want you to note down which ones have gone. So let's look at the first couple of examples. Here we go. What color square disappears? Okay. What color square disappears? Did everybody see that? It was a, oh, well, we'd give you your options, blue, yellow, red, or green. And the answer was C, one red square. So that's example number one. Here we see one red square, and there you see the red square come back to where it was. Let's give you example number two. What color squares disappear? So we're looking for more than one square this time. What color squares disappear? Here we go. So you would have to question, uh, work out the answer to the question, which is what color squares disappeared. Your options would be one blue and one yellow, B, one yellow and one green, C, one red and one blue, or D, one green and one red. And the answer is one yellow and one green. And we'll see where they were. That's where they were. And now we'll see that those are the two that disappeared. Those are your two examples. And we're gonna move straight on to question one. So this is the quiz for real. Here we go, pens and papers at the ready. So take a good look at the squares. Make sure you know and have made a good mental image of exactly where each square is. And here we go with the first question. What color squares disappear? So there's gonna be more than one. So there are three squares that have just disappeared, as you can see from the holes in the image. Three squares have just disappeared. Were they? A, two blue and one yellow. B, one yellow and two green. C, two red and one blue. Or D, one green and two red. 
I'm going to give you a few seconds without me talking so that you can just have a good think about that, looking at your options and coming up with your answer for question one. Moving on to question number two. What color squares disappear? Same question, but it will be different squares. Let's see which ones go. We've lost four squares this time. Four squares have gone. So your options are A, two blue and two green, B, two yellow and two blue, C, two red and two yellow, or D, two green and two red. Again, I'm gonna give you a few seconds thinking time without me talking. So come up with your answer for question number two. There we go, hopefully you've all got a good answer for that one. Question number three. We've moved on to shapes now. So take a good look at these colored shapes. We have a red star, a blue triangle, a yellow pentagon, a red pentagon. Then on the second row, a yellow pentagon, a green arrow, a blue triangle and a green arrow. Then on the final row, a green pentagon, a yellow star, a red pentagon and a green triangle. So again, you're gonna be looking for what disappears. Let's look at the third question. What color shapes? have disappeared. What color shapes have disappeared? Your options are three green and one yellow, two red and two blue, three blue and one green, or two green and two red. Quite tricky this one. So four shapes have gone. What color were they? Three green and one yellow, two red and two blue, three blue and one green, or two green and two red. I'm gonna give you a few seconds thinking of that one. On to question four. Again, take a good look at the shapes. I'm gonna give you a little bit longer there to have a look at this image. I feel like I maybe went through that one a little bit quickly before. So I'm just gonna give you a few more seconds taking this image in, making a good mental note. Because our question is, what shapes have disappeared? So not the colors, the shapes themselves. What shapes have disappeared? And we've lost five this time. So this is getting very tricky now. The options are three pentagons and two arrows, two triangles and three stars, Option C, two stars and three pentagons. Or D, three stars and two pentagons. Again, I'm gonna give you a few seconds with your options and trying to work out your answer. Right, that is tricky, that one, and the last couple are tricky as well. So let's move on to question five. Two more questions in this first round. Take a good look at these squares and the numbers within the squares. So we have a red with a one, a yellow with a two, a blue with a four, a green with a two, a red one, a red four, a green one, a blue four, a yellow three, a blue two, a red one, 
and a green too. I'm going to give you another couple of seconds, just looking at this image, making a very good mental note. Here comes the question. How many twos have disappeared? So there are four, five squares where numbers have disappeared. How many of those had the number two in it? Was it A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? How many twos have disappeared? Was it one, two, three, or four? And finally, question number six. Again, take a good look at the squares and their numbers. And the question is, how many blue squares numbered four have disappeared? How many blue squares numbered four have disappeared? Was it? A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four. Very tricky, that one. But I'm sure lots of you clever kids out there will have got the right answer. So how many blue squares numbered four disappeared? Was it one, two, three, or four? I'm gonna give you another few seconds silence so that you can work out your answer. And that, kids, is the end of round one. So, welcome back to me. We're going to hopefully have some nice comments from you now that will come up on the screen and I can read out. I hope you all did well in that round. It was tricky. It was tricky. There were some very tough ones, but I know you're all clever out there, so I'm sure you can cope. Hamish7 and Finley 10 from Lorraine McMillan. Hi, Hamish and Finley. Welcome to you. Hope you're enjoying the quiz. Big thumbs up. Anna Gill says hi. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you. Nice to have you with us. Uh, do we have any other comments? Abby Stewart says hello. Hi, Abby. That might be Esme and Zach, I think, rather than Abby. Uh, but hi to you guys. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've got over your horror that I haven't read Harry Potter. Lorraine McMillan playing in the sun. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, I am not in the sun. I'm inside hosting but that's my pleasure i'm i'm thrilled to be doing so so uh, we're going to go on to the answers for round one thank you for your comments do keep them coming into the facebook chat or the youtube comments so let's go on to the answers for round one here we go so question one what color squares disappeared the answer was Option D, one green and two red. We'll see them back in place now. That's where they were, one green and two red, and that's them gone. So well done if you got that right, option D. Question two, what color squares disappeared? The answer was two red and two yellow. Here we go, we'll see them back in place. There they are, the two reds and the two yellow. That's them gone again, so that was Option C for question two. Question three, the shapes that had disappeared, it was option A, three green and one yellow. Let's see them back in place. There they are, all dotted around. That was a tricky one, three green and one yellow. Question four, the shapes that had disappeared was option C, two stars and three pentagons. Let's see them back where they were. We've got the two stars and the three pentagons there. Option C for question four. Question five, 
The twos that had disappeared was option C. Three twos disappeared. Let's see them back in place. There they are, two on the top row, one on the bottom. So three twos had disappeared. That was the answer to question five. And the answer to question six, how many blue squares numbered four had disappeared? It was option two. Let's see them back in place. There they are, up top and in the middle, two blue squares with the number four on them. So option B for question six. That's the end uh, of the answers for round one. Jot down how many points you got out of six. Drop us a little comment in the chat so that we can read out how well you're doing. I'm sure lots of you will have got six out of six, as if it was the same as last week. Maybe it's a little bit harder than last week, so maybe we won't have full marks. Who knows? Let us know. Hi from Harris Kanji. I think, Harris, you were with us last week, I seem to remember. So hi to you. Welcome back, Harris. And hope you're doing well in the sunshine. Who else have we got? That round was hard. It certainly was hard. That round was hard. But we thought we'd, you know, give you a little tester. Two out of six for Harris. Okay, well, well that shows that it maybe was pretty hard, but well done, Harris. Two out of six is still a good score. Uh, we got any other scores coming in? We've got our producer, Jeff. Jeff, who's the brains behind Quiz the Nation and Quiz the Nation Kids, spends all week writing these wonderful quizzes for you kids out there. And he's up in control of all the comments coming through to you. So he's got lots of things to do, pressing lots of different buttons in the background. Well done, that's more than we got here, say Chris the Nation. Uh, fantastic. Well, let's move on to round two, shall we? Oh, hello from Lucas at MB Rotherhide. Hi, Luca, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming back. You did well last week. Hope you're doing well again this week. Luca goes to my stage school that I run on a Saturday morning teaching drama, dance and singing for lots of lovely kids down in London. So hi, Luca. Hi to you. Uh, right, let's move on to round two, shall we? Which is uh, emoji maths and some anagrams and some sequences and lots of other fun stuff. Six marks here, Hamish, waiting for some maths questions. OK, well done, Hamish. Well, here come the maths questions. Round number two. So as we had last week, we have emoji maths. First couple of questions. Take a good look at the emojis and their values. We have the wonky face, the glasses face, the love hearts is three, sunglasses is four, sad face five, crying face six, angel seven, shocked face eight, stars in their eyes nine, and celebration face is zero. So uh, we'll give you a couple of examples of the questions that were going to come up. So these example calculations, what does the sunglasses face plus the sad face equal? That is the face with the stars in their eyes. Now, if you put the stars in their eyes emoji, that's a correct answer. However, if you put nine, that is also a correct answer. So whether you put the emoji or the numerical answer is totally fine. You get a correct, you get a point for each, each answer because they're both correct. The second example, the angel, times the glasses face would be, that would be seven times two, which is of course 14. So you would have the uh, wonky face and the sunglasses face, one and four. Or as I said, if you just put 14, then that's totally fine and we'll accept that as a correct answer. So on to the round for good, for proper. So here we go, question number one. What does the Love heart face plus the angel equal. So love heart face plus the angel. What does that equal? Is it wonky face and celebration, glasses face and love hearts, wonky face and sunglasses, or stars in their eyes? So we've only put up the options of the emoji pictures. But if you put, as I said, if you put the number, then that's totally fine. But we've just given you the options for the emojis. Give you a few seconds thinking about that one. Question two. What is glasses face multiplied by shocked face? 
Glasses face multiplied by shocked face. Is it? Wonky face and sunglasses. Glasses and wonky face. Wonky face and sad face. Glasses and angel. Those are your four options. Again, I'm going to give you a few seconds, some thinking time without me wittering on. Okay, on to question three. What is sad face plus stars in his eyes minus crying face? So sad face plus stars in the eyes minus crying face. The options are two wonky faces, one sunglass face, wonky face and shocked face, or just shocked face, A, B, C, or D. Give you another few seconds, silence, while you work that out. Okay, I hope you've all got that one. Let's move on to question number four. Now we're into our anagrams for questions four and five. There won't be any options for these answers. You just need to work out what the answer is. We're going to give you an example. This was actually a question from last week. So an anagram is a word made from the letters of another word. For example, terse is an anagram of trees. Terse is an, an, an anagram of trees. As you can see, all the letters in the word terse can be rearranged to make the word trees. So questions four and five are going to be two anagrams. Here we go. The word, the word, sorry, the word scalp is an anagram for a word that means what an audience does when a choir finishes its song. The word scalp is an anagram for which word that means what an audience does when a choir finishes its song. I'm going to leave you with some silence to think about that one. And question five, the word silent is an anagram for which word that your teacher may ask you to do when they are speaking. The word silent is an anagram for which word that your teacher may ask you to do for when they are speaking, for when they're speaking. Again, I'm going to give you a little bit of thinking time over that one to rearrange those letters to find the answer. Fantastic. And question number six. This is a sequence. So we're back to maths, but not on emojis. This is a sequence. All we want from you are the next two numbers in this sequence. Again, there aren't any options going to come up. You just need to work out what the next two numbers are in this sequence. The sequence is 48, 41, 34, 27, blank, and blank. So you need to work out the next two numbers in this sequence. 48, 41, 34, 27, blank, and blank. I'm going to give you a little bit of thinking time for that.
And so, boys and girls, I hope that you got all your answers because that's the end of round two. And I hope you're happy with all your answers. We're going to go through the answers in a minute, which means that you can go through and then leave us a comment with how you did for round two. Maybe you could give us a running total with your combined score from the first two rounds. Let's have some more comments from lovely Jeff, if he can put some up on the screen for uh, you never witter, Ali. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind. That's very kind. <laughs> I think I do. I think I do. Especially when uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying. Got to say, Emoji Maths is my favourite. Fantastic. Are these coming from these coming from Quiz the Nation? I'm not sure who these are coming from, but they are from Facebook, I can see. So hopefully, give us a name if you're when you leave your comment. Let's have a name so I know who you're who I'm speaking to. Ha, huh, says Anna. Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. If hopefully that does that mean that the uh, Questions were quite hard, I'm not sure. Who knows? I'm sure you did very well. We got any other comments? No, okay, fantastic. Let's do the answers for round number two, emoji maths. So question one was the uh, love heart's face plus the angel, which leads to the answer being, Wonky face and celebration face. So we've got uh, love heart face was three and the angel was seven. So that means 10. So if you put the wonky face and the party face, or if you put 10, then both are correct and you get a point for that question. Well done. Question number two. Is glasses face times shocked face, what did that equal? So that is glasses face was two, shocked face is eight. So two times eight is 16 or the wonky face and the sad face. Wonky face being number one and sad face being number six. So that would be the answer if you're doing the emojis. As I said, if you're doing the numbers, then 16 is the correct answer. Well done, question three. So we had sad face plus stars in their eyes minus crying face so sad face is five plus stars in their eyes is nine so that's 14 minus the sad face the crying face sorry which is six so 14 minus six is eight or as i said the shocked face but if you wrote down eight that is a correct answer so well done to all of you now on to questions four and five the anagrams that was our example. Terse is an anagram of the word trees. Our question, number four, scalp is an anagram for a word that means when an audience does what a choir finishes its song or when we, the end of a play or when somebody says a wonderful speech, it is, of course, claps. So well done to anybody who got question four. And question five, the anagram silent, I'm sure all of you do this all the time and never have to be told by your teachers, but the correct answer is of course, listen. So that's the answer to number five. And question six, the next two numbers in the sequence, hopefully you spotted that the numbers were coming down by seven each time. So 48 minus 7 is 41, minus 7 is 34, minus 7 is 27. So 27 minus 7 is 20, and 20 minus 7 is 13. So the answer to question six is 20 and 13. You need both answers correct to get the point. Those are the answers for round two. So tot up how you did. And let us know. Hamish loved this round. Fantastic. Thanks, Lorraine, for that lovely comment. Well done, Hamish. Let us know how many points you got. Hopefully you got six out of six, maybe. Who knows? Any other comments, Jeff? Oh, look, we just, just put up a nice little ticker there going across for the bottom of the screen for you. Please post your round score and running total. The more comments we have, the more we can read out. Six out of six for Luca at Rotherhide. Great quiz again. Thank you very much, Myla. Thank you. Well done, Luca. Six out of six. Harris, six out of six as well. Brilliant. Back to form, Harris. 
Brilliant. Well done, you. That's excellent. Six out of six for Hamish, I think that is, Lorraine. Yeah, woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Amazing. Six out of six. Very good, guys. Very good. Seems that we're all pretty good at this emoji maths lark. Six out of six for Ollie, age seven, I presume. That means, Anna, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. Excellent scoring. That's more like it. Fantastic scores from all of you. So on to the final round, which is general knowledge. Now, in a slight change from last week, we're not going to give you any options for these questions because we felt that maybe we were making it a little bit easy for all you clever kids out there. So we are just going to ask you six general knowledge questions and we want you to give your answers. Here we go with round number three. According to the book, The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson, what is the mouse's favorite food? According to the book, The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson, what is the mouse's favorite food? I'm gonna give you a few seconds thinking about that one. I'm sure all of you will have either read that at school or read that at home, I'm sure, but I'll give you a few seconds to think. Question two. At the end of the Harry Potter saga, another Harry Potter question, who does Ron Weasley marry? Of course, I wouldn't know because I've never read them. But at the end of the Harry Potter saga, who does Ron Weasley marry? Give you a few seconds to think about that. Question three. What is the name of the snowman in Frozen? What is the name of the snowman in Frozen? Sings a good song about, about being in summer, doesn't he? Wouldn't be great. It's not great weather for snowman at the moment. What's the name of the snowman in Frozen? That's question number three. Question four. What sort of animal? is the video game and film character Sonic. What sort of animal is the video game and film character Sonic? That's question four. I'm gonna give you a few seconds thinking. Question five. In the world of Nintendo, what is Mario's brother called? In the world of Nintendo, what is Mario's brother called? And for all of you kids out there, Nintendo and Mario and his brother were around even when I was a kid, which was millions of years ago. In the world of Nintendo, what is Mario's brother called? That's question five and question six. What is the name of the building that the President of the United States lives in? What is the name of the building that the President of the United States lives in? Very famous building in America. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think about that. Before we say, boys and girls, that that is the end of today's quiz. So well done. I'm sure you all did very well on that general knowledge round. Some tough ones in there, some that I'm sure you all know. Let's see if we've got any more comments to come from our Facebook chat or our YouTube comments. How are you finding general knowledge? Well, that's a question from us, I think, the question uh, from Quiz the Nation, asking how you're finding the general knowledge. Good from Anna, thank you, I'm glad, I'm glad. Hopefully everybody did well. Any more comments, Jeff? No? Ah, oh, fabulous, fabulous. Everything's fabulous here at Quiz the Nation. That's what we like to see. So let's do the answers then for round number six. 
Sorry, what am I talking about? Round number six, round number three. Of course, there are six questions. So according to the book, The Gruffalo, Julia Donaldson, the mouse's favorite food is Gruffalo crumble. Well done to anybody who got that. Question two, Harry Potter saga, Ron Weasley marries Hermione Granger. Well done to everyone who got that. Question three, the name of the snowman in Frozen is Olaf. Well done to all of you who got that. I'm sure you all got that one. Question four, the sort of animal that Sonic is, the game and film character Sonic, he is a hedgehog and a very fast one too. Sonic the Hedgehog, well done to those of you who got that. Question five, in the world of Nintendo, Mario's brother is called Luigi, well done. And question six, the name of the building that the President of the United States lives in is the White House. The White House, a huge building in Washington, DC. So well done to all of you who got all your answers right, or however many you got, well done. Thank you for playing along. Top your answers up. Let's find out how many marks you got for that round, and also a grand total out of 18 for the whole quiz. The questions were too easy. Okay, thank you for the feedback. We will make them harder next week. I think we will. We will make them tougher for you next week. And uh, hopefully that can be a bit more of a challenge. Let's see how you got on anyway. We love the quiz today. Something for everyone. 18 marks here. Thank you, Lorraine and Hamish. Well done to you. Fantastic. 18 out of 18. Amazing. Well done. That's really good. Really good. Any other scores that we've got come in? 12 out of 18 for Harris Kanji. Well done, Harris. Another very good score. I seem to remember you did very well last week as well. So well done to you. Six out of six. Well done, Ali. Great fun. Thank you. That's Luca down in Rotherhithe. Well done to you, Luca. Six out of six. Brilliant. Uh, what's that total then? What did Luca get in total? Please put that as a, as a comment and we'll put that up if we have time. Do we have any of the scores in today? Luigi, love Luigi, Ollie. Brilliant. Fantastic. We all love Luigi. Everybody loves the Mario Brothers, surely. Even kids as old as me. 12 out of 18 missed the first round, but that means you got six out of six for both of the rounds two and three. So well done, Luca. Very good. Any other scores that we have? Brilliant work. Yes, absolutely brilliant work to all of you who played along today. I know it's very hot and I know that we should all go and reward ourselves with a nice ice lolly or a nice cool drink. Thank you for playing. Do come back next week. Tell your friends. Let's spread the word. Let's have lots of fun. We'll maybe make those general knowledge questions a little bit harder for you next week. But until then, take care, stay safe, stay indoors, but enjoy the sunshine and we'll see you all again.